Greetings from the road. This is Freighter Jim. It's March of 2023. The vehicle you see there is a 1930 Chrysler Imperial bought at the Bottoms Auction in Scottsdale in January. It's going up to be dropped off in the Seattle area and from there it takes the Alaska Highway up to the Fountainhead Antique Auto Museum. This is the 46th vehicle that I've hauled for at least nine museums since 2006. So I'm gonna give you a trailering tip. I've evolved to take all vehicles on a four point tie down from the frame into the center. That secures the vehicle from moving back and forth. Then I take two straps and I take them from one corner to the other and cross them to keep the vehicle from shifting. Now on this trailer, my aluminum enclosed trailer that has 20 feet of uh, floor space, that's a fold out flat for the ramp so it goes out to 11 feet. But if you'll notice here, there's no transition flap. So I cut a piece of lumber to span that, okay? Then I take that piece of lumber and I use it as a wheel cock. I put it under the front tire goes across. Then I take what's called a wood socket and I stick it in the E-track and unfortunately it only goes one way where the C-track's put in so I can't put a piece of wood in it because the open end faces the side of the trailer. So behind that I put my E-track fitting. And what that means is that vehicle is not going to roll backwards even if the trap even if the straps loosen up. So that gives you a way to have a safety so your vehicle doesn't take and roll backwards. And again, these cross straps go to the frame to keep the vehicle from moving side to side inside the trailer. I usually center a vehicle in the trailer where I put it slightly to the left. So this is what I do. It may or may not work for you, but it works out pretty good for me. Remember, drive safe or ride alive. This is Freighter Jim. Have a good day.